do what God tells you to do. Amen. 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 Give my hand. Give my hand. Before I start, Ajaya, he just told me something, and when I say it made my heart cry, y'all should stand on y'all feet, because he said, I want to join your ministry. Amen. Amen. I know it's out of order, but when our babies come to that we should be praying with the church. For trusting and believing in me to deliver the word, the message for today. I always like to do a small disclaimer before I speak. I am not a pastor. I am not a preacher. I'm not a bishop. I am just a person who is spiritually growing and I love the Lord. So his name, his word gonna be all up in my message. All right. All right. I speak from experience, personal situations and situations of others. And I make no mistaken apologies for including God in everything that I do. So if you don't mind me speaking a little bit, I want to, I had my son sing this song. Well, I had Ronique sing this song, Falling in Love with Jesus, because it is aligned with the message I wanted to, to speak today. And you did a great job, son. I'm so proud of you. But many of you don't know, like, it took a lot for us to get him to this point of breaking that shell. So I'm very proud. Thank yep. you, Rudy. Thank you. Thank you. you guys can have a seat. I have a lot of family in town for graduation and a lot of friends that came out to support today. I appreciate you guys. I want all of my family from out of town to stand for a quick second. Amen. 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 So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit on the topic of falling in love with Jesus. At this church, we out of here. We come in, we get that word, we out of here. <laughs> and I'm not going to change it up today. So I will be quick. Pray with me, guys, for a moment. Increase in me, O oh Lord. Increase in strength in my territory. Guide me, O oh Lord, so that I can share your wonderful works. Lord, may I always remember and relive how it felt to fall in love with you. How many of you guys remember that feeling? How full your spirit was the day that you accept Christ as your Savior? Amen. Amen. Amazing feeling, right? Yes. 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 And if any of you have not experienced those feelings, it's not too late. And maybe by the end of this message, you'll be reminded of how it felt when you fell in love with him. The song, Falling in Love with Jesus, is a very simple song. The same two verses repeated over and over again. I want you to let those words resonate with you for a moment. Think of how powerful the message is in that song. In his arms, I feel protected. In life, we look for protection in the form of weapons, in the form of security from family members, in the form of security and a mate. We look for protection of our hearts, for protection of our finances, for protection of our mind, for protection of our health. But have we first sought that protection in Jesus? Amen. Putting your trust in Jesus' protection doesn't mean that you will skate through life without your feelings being hurt, Amen. without your heart being broken or even without some type of physical harm or illness coming your way. But what it means is that you will sashay through life's storm with grace. Amen. Amen. You will help hold your head up high when everyone else feels that you should be walking around with your head down low. Amen. I don't think you guys understand. Wake up in the morning and say, God, protect me. Keep me safe. Keep my home safe. Protect my heart. Keep me out of harm's way. When we do this, when we give it to Jesus, when we trust him, it allows us to sashay through our storms with grace. My heart may be broken, but I know and trust in the healer. 
My body, my body may be aching, but I know one who is mightier than any doctor. My emotions may be all over the place, but I know my own personal strength. When we give it to God, we are doing what is pleasing to him. God doesn't want us to walk around with a broken heart, with a broken body, broken financially, a broken spirit. Psalms 55 and 22 says, Cast your cares into the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be forsaken. Amen. David is telling us this very thing hundreds of years ago. Our, an our ancestors knew this very thing, to cast all their burdens unto the Lord. His people will never be forsaken. And this still reigns true today. Amen. I want to get back to the song, In His Arms, Never Disconnected. To love someone means not needing constant contact to feel secure. It means trusting the other person in every way and them earning that same trust. When this kind of trust is mutual, that means a strong connection, no confusion, no second guessing. You are connecting on all levels, so there is no disconnect. How many of you guys know that we serve an honest God. Amen. We serve a true God. Yes. We serve a just God. Yes. Yes. Do you realize with the relationship with Jesus, you can feel this connection? Never feel disconnected because the bond is so true. And if you ever find yourself being disconnected with him, remember what I'm telling you, to relive that moment that you fell in love with him. When there's disconnect, God is telling you, I need you to focus on me. I want to speak to you guys a little bit on a personal level. My friend Mashika can confirm this. For several years, I have been back and forth with what God has called me to do. Y'all don't understand this. I've wrestled with this thing in my mind, telling myself, you are not ready for this next step. I constantly talk myself back from moving and discovering what the next level is for me. What is it that God truly has for me? I know I have a gift. I can relate and connect to people. I know being a pastor right now is not my calling. <laughs> so I found comfort in this thing we call empowerment speaking. Amen. But before this, I was battling with trusting and believing I had what it, what it took to move on. One day, this is the honest to God truth, one day I heard a message, a friend posted on Instagram, and I felt like that message really spoke to me. The message was, when did you stop believing in yourself? Can you do this? Yes. Will you do this? Yes. Well, let's get this done. God has already equipped you with what you're waiting for. Do y'all hear that? God has already equipped each and every one of us with what we're waiting for. On this day, I said, I'm going to wholeheartedly give it to God and allow him to lead me and not put in my two cents at all. And I just prayed. When everyone in my house was asleep, I went down into my living room, I got on my knees, and I prayed. I said, God, I know you are not the author of confusion. So please, please help me clear my mind. I want to grow. I want to become what you've already said I will be. I pray like this openly out loud for several days. And I'm not lying to you guys when I say I received a message from God. The message was, remember how it felt when you fell in love with me. Relive that moment. I closed my eyes and tears began to fall down my face. Because at that very moment, something in me changed. Y'all don't hear me. I instantly felt a change. From that very moment, I knew I was going to be obedient to his word. Without a question. Each night I began to pray sometimes not finding the words. So I would just say, Lord, whatever you have for me, let it be and just leave me. Mm. 
when I tell you guys, Amen. my talk changed. Do y'all hear me? Amen. The Amen. words that I spoke, I used to speak, I no longer spoke anymore. Mm -hmm. My words had a purpose. My tongue. Lord knows this tongue of mine. <laughs> yes, Woo, it needed the most work. <laughs> I now begin to speak life into myself. Amen. I hear you, baby. I hear you. You guys don't understand because always putting others before myself, my tongue became powerful. It became uplifting. My prayers became more robust, more powerful. Y'all don't hear me. My prayers became more robust and more powerful. My walk was now with purpose. All right. My talk was now with purpose. And I couldn't ignore it. Let me give back to the song. <laughs> the last part of the song was falling in love with Jesus. The statement that reigns true for me today is it was the best thing I've ever done. I've had many accomplishments in my life. Many accomplishments in my life. But none as fulfilling as the moment when I fell in love with Jesus. Jesus. I want to touch on a few points really quick, and I promise I won't hold you too long. This glow that I now have, Amen. the world did not give it to Amen. me. Yeah. This happiness that I have, the world did not give it to me. This confidence that I've been lacking, the world did not give it to me. This pride that I feel, the world did not give it to me. Live that moment over and over again, I can honestly say it was the best thing I've ever done. Ever? Yeah. All right. When I tell you guys, I have taken my business to the next level <laughs> without even promoting it. People have been calling me to speak. I haven't promoted it one bit. Come on. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I'm being obedient. Yes. Yes. I'm being faithful his word. word. When you feel drama coming into your life or standing to your life. When you don't know which way to go, relive that moment. When you fell in love with Jesus, it would allow you to regroup, it would allow you to refresh, and it would allow you to redirect your spirit. Falling in love with Jesus will give you the direction and the clarity you need. It will remind you to put and keep your trust in Him. Fall in love with Jesus. I need everyone to put your hands in the air and just tell them, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I welcome you in my life. If you need to reconnect, if you really need to relive that moment, join us at the altar right now. 